Hello, welcome to Teaching Tuesday. I'm Heather McGee. Today we're going to continue making fall decorations, and as we think about Thanksgiving, going to make some flint corn. Now this is really pretty. Uh, when I was a kid we used to call it Indian corn, um, but we call it flint corn now. It's very hard. You don't eat it like corn on the cob. It's best for decorations and for grinding up into flour or to porridge. So let me show you how we're going to make this. You need very simple things this week. You need four pipe cleaners. I picked these light tan ones just because they kind of look the same color as corn husks. And you need pony beads. You could use any kind of beads, but pony beads are what I have. And the great thing about flint corn is that it's all different colors. So as we're making it, um, you can use blues, purples, dark red, in addition to yellow, orange, white, all of those different colors. Makes it beautiful as a decoration. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with your four pipe cleaners. I realize they're about the same color as my table, but it's all right. We'll, we'll get the basic idea here. I'm going to line up the ends and kind of bend them in half just so I know where the middle is. There we go, marking the middle. And now I'm going to open this back up. Now that I know where the middle is, put your fingers on each side of the middle and twist the middle. So you're going to hook all of those pipe cleaners together. You can spread them out, kind of like a spider. Octopus, since it's got eight arms. And that is going to be the base for your flint corn. After this, it's really, really easy, and it's all about being creative. Each one of these little legs, I'm going to kind of put them up a little bit, is going to get one string of beads on it. You see this? Each one of these has got 15 beads on it. 15. So this is great practice for counting. Now you can lay out beads if you want to ahead of time so you know what colors are going where. But I'm just going to start stringing mine on here. Just one at a time. 15 on each one of these little legs. And like I said, I'm going to be using blues and purples and dark reds for this one. Um, because the other one has got a lot of the yellow and orange in it. The great thing about flint corn is that it does come in many, many different colors. Corn was really important to the pilgrims, especially that first year that they were in North America. They moved in in December. What do you know about gardens in December? Is that a good time to plant a garden? Do you plant gardens around Christmas time and Thanksgiving? <laughs> no, no, it's not a good time at all. It was it's too cold. And they, they were further north than us. So they were pretty cold up there. They didn't have enough food. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oops, I've got too many on there. Once you get 15, move on to the next one. I'm going to stand it up so that they don't fall off. You just move on to the next one. Fortunately for the pilgrims and the people that landed here, there were some Native Americans. They called them Indians. And they helped these, these new settlers because the settlers were surely going to starve. So the Native Americans kind of helped them out. And as spring came and they could plant new crops, one of the things they planted was corn or maize. Maize did not exist over in Europe at the time that the pilgrims came here. That's a very North American thing. And we frequently have it at Thanksgiving time in some form to celebrate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. There's a second one. 
Now go ahead and keep going the whole way around. Once you get all the way done, then tune back into the video and I'll show you how to finish it off. There we go. All eight of those little legs now have beads on them. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we might need an adult to help with this. I'm going to kind of stand it up on its edge. I'm going to start to gather some of these little legs together by the top. See that? And I'm going to take my finger and just squish it into the center. You can use your thumb too. It kind of pushes the pipe cleaners out a little bit away from the center. Bring all of your pipe cleaners up. See that? Kind of all squished together. Now, don't push too hard because it'll squish them all the way into the middle and you want to have a little bit of space in the center. Now, if your legs start popping out all over the place, you can twist a couple of the pipe cleaners together at a time. See that? So it'll help keep them where you want them. Sometimes it's hard to hold on to all eight of those pipe cleaner ends at the same time. Now be careful because they're a little pointy. You've got tender little hands, so be careful. There we go. Now these are kind of crunched together, so that helps. I'm going to take these and we're going to twist all of the pipe cleaners together. Try and keep them in order here a little bit. We'll see. This is the trickiest part. Now the great thing is that these are on wires and you can move things around once you're done. Ready? So once you've got everything, you're going to twist all of those wires together at the top and then kind of push them out a little bit so they're, they look like they're the edges of a cornstalk. Now my bottom is pretty smooshy, so I'm just going to go in and try and straighten some of this out. There we go. I think that one's supposed to go there. Just re putting the shape back together so it's not quite so smooshed. So I want to make it look like it could be an ear of corn. So there's a space in the middle. You see that? You see that in there? There's a space. And there you go. There's your ear of corn. Now last week we made a pumpkin. So put the pumpkin here. And there are two ears of corn by the pumpkin. We can even do this. Make a decoration with it. it. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? One of the things I like about flint corn is that it reminds me that in the place where we live in the United States, in North America, that we had some great crops. And people all over the world know about corn now. And it came from here in North America. This is flint corn and I hope you had fun making it.